Hello friends, uh, today we're going to be talking about a new build for the Necromancer in Season 12 or the PTR 2.6.1. It's a fun little build. It's definitely more of a like a play your way build if you will because you're probably it's not you know the best but if you're looking for a build that uses the golem to destroy enemies in this big tornado of bones. The bone storm! Sorry. Um, can't help but love, what's his name? Marigar? I think it was. I'm not sure for Mice Crown. Anyways, if you're looking for a build that utilizes a golem to do all of your damage, then check this one out. So let's cover the skills first. We're going to use Frailty, Scent of Blood. Uh, you're going to be casting Frailty rather than have it be passive because we're going to be using the, uh, what's it called again? Brigstone, I think. Or no, Briggs Wrath. We're going to be using Briggs Wrath, and that's going to, you know, put everything where we want it to be so the golem can rip it up. Then we're using the Bone Golem, because this is the Bone Storm Golem. And we're using Bone Armor, Harvest of Anguish. This is just to get some movement speed going. Check that out. We get 15% more uh, movement speed, because we're also using the Amulet, which I can't think of the name right now. All the names are blanking, blanking on them. Ah, Wisdom of Kalan. Yes. Wait. We're going to be using Blood Rush Potency. You could probably use a different rune if you wanted to. Um... I was using potency because I was messing around with this build on T13. Now it's on T10. Just just for the sake of the video, I put it on T10 because it's so much faster. Uh, my gear is not that great for this setup. And if you had higher DPS, you could you know definitely do T13 no problem. But having more armor is never bad. We're going to be using Devour Cannibalize. Obviously, that's the numlock trick. It's too good to pass up. And then we're using Command Skeletons Dark Mending. This will heal you. This is nice around higher difficulties. Again, you know, because they're, they're hitting super fast and they are replenishing uh, quite a bit of your life. Um, <laughs> it's funny, I hear the golem just yelling in the background. But it's it's not necessary. You could use a different rune if you felt like it. But it is a physical rune, and you're going to be using physical damage. So, it works out nicely. For passes, we're using Final Service. Commander of the Risen Dead. This We have to get that cooldown on Command Golem. It's your only source of damage. This, this build is incredibly cooldown reliant. Uh, fueled by death, because it has been fixed. So we're moving all over the place. Then a little spreading malediction for some more damage. So, next up, the cube and the armor. Let's talk about armor first. Since we need a lot of cooldown, and I mean a lot of cooldown. I have 57%, and that's actually a little bit low. I'd be way happier if I could get, like, closer to 63, 65, somewhere around then. Because you want to have Command Golem up all the time, right? And right now, there's about a second and a half, two second delay almost. Now, mind you, we are going to be using the um, the Gogok of Swiftness to get more cooldown reduction. So we could definitely use more cooldown reduction if possible. So yeah, that's why in the Helm slot we're using Leoric's Crown. Get that extra cooldown reduction from the, the legendary effect. The armor, we're looking at Anarius' set because it's going to buff up bone damage or the bone armor. Like the bone armor is going to buff up the damage of the golem. And, uh, okay, so we're using, like I said, Anarius. You want, you definitely want cooldown reduction. The rest of the stats, you know, just play with it. This is a kind of a play your way build, like I said. So just, you know, figure it out until you get what works for you. Armor, you definitely want that command golem damage on there. The amulet. Uh, I, I opted for physical skills here. Maybe it would have been, I could have maybe dropped that 17% and gotten more cooldown reduction. That might honestly be a better option since it's your only source of damage. It's probably, it might be better. I'm not sure. But, you know, play around with it, see how you feel. Uh, for You want Nemesis Bracers pretty much always, because it's they're just so nice. You pop that shrine, more elites pop out, you're doing the rifts faster, you know? You don't want all resists, it's just that these are the ones that I happen to have. Uh, for gloves, it's pretty standard stuff, you know, crit damage, crit chance, then cooldown reduction. Uh, belt, definitely the Vigilante Belt, because this gives you cooldown. This is a pretty low roll, you know... You can get up to 8. I'm missing 2% there. For rings, uh, you want Briggs Wrath. This is going to take everyone and put them right where you want them when you use your runes or your, um, uh, your, 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 oh my god, curses. Oi, shouldn't make videos in the morning. My brain doesn't work. <laughs> uh, this is honestly, it's, it's a beautiful ring because you have crit damage and crit chance on it, but you might be better rolling one of those off for more cooldown reduction again, but, nah, what can you do? Uh, we're going to be using the Anarius Pants. This has Grim Scythe damage. I, sh I really should roll that off because it's not helpful at all in this build. 
So that's silly. I don't even know why it's there. I oh I oh I was buying new pieces to look for an ancient one from the goat and forgot to re-roll it. Oh well. Uh, you're definitely gonna be using Crisbin sentence. You'd be happier cubing Crisbin sentence and using Ring of Rogue Grandeur just because the uh, legendary effect can get up to a hundred, which is a lot more damage. Also, you don't want uh, increased attack speed on this build. It's just that again, it's the ring that I happen to have. For boots, standard stuff, defensive things, you know. For your weapon, you, you need cooldown reduction on your weapon. And again, if you could get a one that already had it, then you could reroll off the attack speed. You'd be happier. But that's how it goes sometimes. Same with the shield. Definitely want that cooldown reduction on there. And this is a pretty... No, no, it's good. It's seven. Um, and then in the cube, we're going to be rocking the Trangul's Corroded Fang. More damage. The Golem Skin... This gives you, this makes you take less damage, which is nice, and more importantly, reduces the cooldown on our golem boy. And then, of course, Ring of Royal Grandeur or the Crispin Sentence, depending on which one you want where. As for legendary gems, Bane of the Trapped, Enforcer, and good old Gogak. That's for the cooldown reduction again. Cooldown reduction is key. And talking about Paragon, I, I have it just so I'm, I'm using 800 Paragon right now, because again, this build... It's not very strong, so unless you have good gear and, you know, you need decent Paragon, you'll be, you know, the better, the more Paragon you have, the better this build will be, and same with gear, because, I mean, look at that. I only have 874,000 uh, sheet DPS. I did this sort of on purpose. I didn't want to have perfect gear. I hate making videos with perfect gear and really high Paragon, because it doesn't actually show, I mean, like, for the majority of players, that's not relevant. Uh, so you can see this build. I know it's only T10, but it's still a nice way to mess around, try something different, and make your golem <laughs> blow stuff up. It's really cool. I love it a lot. Oh, I should mention that if you don't want to use Nemesis Bracers, you could also use... Oh god, my cube is such a nightmare. Uh, you could also use Strong Arm Bracers, because this guy, he does knock them around. At... So, you know, if you're trying out higher difficulties, this might be useful to use. So yeah, in the Rift video, you might see me a few times cast... The, like, some of the issues with the build could be if you cast Bone Golem in the wrong spot by accident, or if it doesn't actually hit the elites, like sometimes the um, the area of effect or the the actual spot where it's doing damage seems a little bit off, uh, then obviously your whole build is kind of useless for the next few seconds. That's sort of annoying. But overall, I really wanted a build that uses a Golem, and uh, I found this guy. It's a lot of fun. All right, talk to you later.